Robert, the team for this year's Grid Edge Summit is powering the energy revolution. So what can we expect over the two days? Well, there's lots of themes um, for these two days. Um, and I would say the main theme uh, continues to be sustainability. Um, there'll be a lot of sessions around decarbonization and sustainability as both aspects are tied together and are the main drivers for technological changes uh, at the grid edge, which take place. Um, and that's why I think that's one of the bigger areas we're going to address. Uh, the other one, um, sustainability is nice, but you know, we're, we're human beings. Uh, we're still in a, in, a, in a world where money counts. So mm -hmm. business cases need to be in place. So I think there are also a lot of talks about how do we actually make it a case, a business case that, um, that pays for itself and justifies itself. And then I looked at the agenda, um, a bit of a, of a sneak preview. There's a lot of uh, dynamics, as we all know, in the e-mobility sector. Nowadays, e-vehicles are really taking off all over the place. I, I think the pandemic also played its role, but there's a lot of incentives now, a lot of portfolio, a lot of more choice for people now on the car side. Uh -huh. And then we, of course, with our uh, charging infrastructure and the software around it. That's for me, basically the three big blocks. So sustainability, decarbonization continues the main driver, a lot of dynamics around it, business case, how do you scale? And then last but not least, e-mobility as a specific topic around the grid edge. That's what I would say people can, can expect when they, when they log in and, and, and watch it. And looking at the agenda for, for next week, um, I see that you have a specific session on Wednesday, the 16th of June, on the energy mix at the grid edge. What, what's this about? Well, um, it, it combines actually all those aspects um, that I touched before in terms of sustainability, decarbonization, but also looking at the business case. And it'll be a, a very interesting session with uh, Stefan Hansen, um, who is the COO of one of our partners, uh, UV. Um, and they're active in uh, everything that is renewable, so uh, larger um, PV plants and, and, and wind parks. But they have also gone into uh, this, the mining sector now and look at how can you decarbonize, help the, the mining operators to decarbonize their energy footprint. Um, and on the same side, same token, uh, also become more resilient um, mm -hmm. and make it really a business case because the cost of uh, energy production, power production, um, with um, with PV uh, mainly has become so cheap, so competitive nowadays, that this um, uh, really creates a business case. And I think we are going to turn around that question. So on the one hand, what are the main drivers? What is available in terms of technology? And then some examples of how we can really make it happen and combine these two aspects. On the one thing, the, the, the purpose, the, the mm -hmm. sustainability portion, and on the other hand, to also make sure that it's a business case that 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 justifies itself. That's the session about. Okay. Now I'm a technology guy and you mentioned technologies. So any any hints on any new technologies or innovations we'll hear about next week? I know, Kevin, I know you're the techie and uh, I remember uh, some of your, your coverage on our pretty techie events when we were talking about uh, automation and software technology uh, for for grid applications. And um, look, of course, we talk about new gimmicks, new products, new features. I mentioned e-mobility on the one hand, and there's a lot of movement in general, also in our portfolio. Um, but if I would or could make, if you allow a claim um, and, and, and a call for action, is not to look now for the next a nice gadget uh, to uh, to to test you know and, and do another pilot i think we have great technology in place now to really scale uh, the energy transition at the grid edge so when it comes to um, software and hardware technology that helps us to manage complex uh, grids mini grids community grids uh, microgrids whatever you want to call it at the grid edge how to integrate e-mobility into the whole equation storage how to actually, uh, as we discussed before, achieve that uh, compromise, yeah? that idealized compromise between sustainability and business case. Uh, there's everything is on the shelf. Now it's about using what is on the shelf right. and really scaling it up. And I think that's also what we want to uh, center this uh, Grid Edge Summit around. It's not so much testing anymore. It's more let's apply it now and scale up because it's about speed as well. Um, and making the energy transition happen to create that positive impact because the time is running 
Um, and there's not much more uh, CO2 buffer that we have in place for our generation and the generations to follow. So my take would not uh, be uh, new techie stuff. Uh, Kevin is more all the cool techie stuff we have on the shelf. Let's uh, bring it to life now and apply it. No, I, I, as you say, yeah, new technology is wonderful, but there's a lot of cool stuff there today. And now, as you say, it's about applying it. Uh, reducing our carbon emissions, heading towards that net zero and using the stuff we have today in a business case that works. So, oh, cool. Hey, it'll be an interesting few days. I look forward to it, Kevin. See, See you there. there.